Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage of IBM Pulse. We're live in Las Vegas for IBM's premier cloud show. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle, I'm joined by co-host Dave Vellante, co-founder of Wikibon.org. And our next guest is Jerry Cuomo, IBM fellow, VP, WebSphere, CTO. Welcome back to theCUBE. Thank you so much, good to be back here at Pulse. Nice so a lot of geek action going on here, so big developer focus, big application focus, cloud, you got some big data stuff in there as well. Uh, a lot of great action. Yeah, for the first time, I, I don't know, in, in the history of IBM conferences on day one, we actually had uh, Tulio up there with Robert LeBlanc writing code, live demo, we were able to hear uh, the uh, the results of the demo where we were able to, in our Bluemix environment, uh, build a mobile app that actually allowed him, allowed Robert to place a call. That um, was cool. I that mean, was cool. That yeah. was a real All demo, live right? on stage. You're kind of a little nervous, but. <laughs> right, that was live, you were yeah. running on Cloud Foundry, right? Yeah. I mean, you pushed yeah. the app live. It yeah. wasn't a throwaway session either. It was opening keynote. It wasn't like, you know, That's a right. session right. We, like, we, you know. We started a boom, <laughs> right? And we said developer, and then we developed. Right for the jugular. Cool. <laughs> right for the jugular. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was a great, it was less than 10 minutes, maybe even five, seven minutes to write an app yeah. Push it live. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the retail app, basically. Yeah. Hey, you bought something. R how, how do you like it? Rough, it was, roughly five minutes. Yeah, with that cool and help button. Yeah. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. So, so the cloud, obviously, Dave and I have been talking about the cloud, the past layer, um, obviously the battlegrounds, the middleware. You guys announced billion-dollar investment for software, yep. both on the IBM side as well as open technologies, cloud foundry relationship, uh, the soft layer at the center. All this is great stuff. We always compare, always kind of compare because we're old, like <laughs> multiple generations of I IT and tech where it's been, where it's come from. Yeah. And, and the, the pattern's clear. It's, it's obviously real. Yeah. People are spending money, there's build, real build out going on. That's right. But That's the right. tooling and the platforms are maturing pretty fast, faster than the past, obviously. So I want to ask you, what, what's going on with Blue Mix and in this, in this cloud uh, market for developers, where there's a lot of build out and, and, and you know, yeah. in real time? That, that, that's a really good question. And I think really this, this notion of Maybe it starts with the notion of lean, right? And lean is about being fast, right? And they had this notion of MVP, you know, uh, minimal viable product. But the V part, viable, right? So it's not just fast, it's about being fast and awesome, right? And, and it's about viable and being awesome is about innovation, right? So getting out there, environments like Bluemix in five minutes, a lot, you know, within reason, plus or minus, based on the ambition of what you're doing, allows um, a person with an idea to fulfill that idea without stuff getting in the way, right? And so you can just kind of free base into your idea and not worrying about the, and, and internally we're using Bluemix to kind of liberate our developers to focus on business, val business value, the V and MVP, right? So what we see is a platform to actually unleash innovation. And that's kind of what Blue Mix means to us, right? And leveraging the cloud and all that is cloud, cloud services, API economy, et cetera, right? And that's, you know, unleashing that lean, fast, and awesome. And you have open source is kind of like the balance of all this, right? In the old days, yep. we saw, you know, standards buys would come in, slow stuff down, proprietary kind of lock in, all that good stuff. Now with the uh, Cloud Foundry, you're seeing some of those same yeah. moves, but what's different is you have openness with APIs, and literally, it's like the consumerization trend. Uh, the best app wins. Uh, absolutely. Right? Yeah, and, and, you know, there's no room for, for lock in. Right, and the first few years of, of the explosion of cloud was about get there, right? But once you got there, and even in the earlier iterations of the IBM cloud, it was get there and stay there, you know? And, and now what we're seeing with OpenStack and you know, Cloud Foundry, we're starting to feel, it's starting to feel like we've been here before. It's starting to feel like the elements that we brought to bear around Linux around community and ecosystem, the elements that we brought around 
e-business and web with WebSphere, you know, about you know, building around an open technology where users have freedom of choice. How, no about, ele how about elements of B for billions of dollars? <laughs> that I mean, too. Investment that too. in yep. Linux, that was a big you know, yep. anchor. That solidified a lot, of, a lot of things. Here you have a billion dollar software investment and you're forecasting seven billion in revenue. Right. So take us through how you're going to get there. Web, and go back, go back to your WebSphere days and take us through like, what have you learned from the past and in the present in terms of what's going on right now for the developers and for the businesses out there. Yeah, so what WebSphere is to web, you know, Bluemix is to cloud. And the cool part is there's WebSphere inside. So it kind of like is our worlds of web and cloud coming together in a, in a, in a pretty interesting way. So, you know, as I said, I'll, let me start with the first thing that we really are learning and are going back and, you know, kind of in a, in a Pavlovian way, we were, uh, you know, and are being nicely rewarded for the work that we've done around open web. So open cloud, of course, you're gonna, you want the cookie, right, when the bell rings. So the cloud bell is ringing, the, the mobile bell is ringing, the big data bell is ringing, so we're acting first and foremost with open systems. And Cloud Foundry provides that, that foundation. So perhaps what, you know, for WebSphere, we have the community around JEE, you know, for Cloud and Bluemix, that community is around Cloud Foundry. And we announced this week that we have the Cloud Foundry Foundation, and we have a nice set of, of uh, seed members coming into it, of course, Pivotal, you know, collaborating with, with Pivotal around that. So that's performing, you know, what did we learn before? We, we learned, you know, lead with standards, right? And, you know, we're already having conversations where we have components that, you know, are in Bluemix. How do we get them to stand up in the Pivotal cloud of Cloud Foundry? And I've had a number of third-party Cloud Foundry providers already look through the Bluemix catalog and do a little catalog shopping, saying, hey, you got this rule service and this iLog, you know, how do I bring that to my in instance? And the Cloud Foundry standard is going to allow that, right? Freedom of motion, freedom of, you know, customer starts with IBM, hopefully they stay there forever, but for whatever reason, you know, you want to check out another cloud or do a little hybrid work, you know, you can work. So I got I got I got to ask you the computer science question. The, you know, the game has changed since the 80s when I got my CS degree. Um, and, and and the world's changing. Software's eating the world, software defined data center, software driven enterprises, all that stuff's happening. Uh, what is the new CS model? It sounds almost like catalog shopping makes it sound like putting a PowerPoint slide together almost. It's I almost think the, the, the new the new CS model is, you know, distributed computing and SOA. You know, SOA is um, not very cool to talk about these days, to be honest, but it's like the air in the room, you know, uh, you, you assume it's there, everyone does it, everyone breathes it, if it goes away, you know, you'll be, uh, you know, you'll, you'll, you need it, so those practices of loosely coupled, um, reusable, you know, reusable, yeah. distributed, are all, it. And, and the new word for it, the new phrase is API economy. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, back in the day, in, in the day of the web, you were boring if you didn't have a website. Today, you're boring if you don't have an API. And APIs are not just a computer science uh, representation. It's not just a technical representation. It's a business reputation, uh, a representation. It's about kind of your public persona, your company's public persona. And the economy around cloud, you know, think about it. I have a statistic that I've been carrying around is most mobile applications today use anywhere from five to a dozen third-party APIs, right? So think about finally the promise of SOA, composition, doing building applications in composition. And this is where Lean comes back because you know now you're renting five to 12 things that allows you to focus on how to differentiate, how to be awesome. Well, web services was always a great vision. SOA, these are things that are now almost, they are table stakes. So cloud amplifies that, economic-wise and speed. So how does, how does that change your view of, of the value? Because now you have, okay, web services, but now you get cloud, you got unlimited compute potentially, you have now economics on the business side and the tech side with virtualization and other things. How is that changing the game? How do you see that changing the, the paradigm going forward? More greatness? Yeah, uh, no, I know. I think you know, cloud really plays into, um, you know, the the whole notion of agile and lean, right? Again, it allows you to focus on, you know, when you when you get into Bluemix, we're not asking you questions about, you know, what operating system, you know, those things have now they're mundane. Those things have been pushed. So cloud lets you they're focus invisible. on the application. It allows you focus on building out that thing. Now, let 
let me maybe spend the second on not what's awesome about cloud, but maybe what we need to work on, what we need to yeah, focus absolutely. on. Yeah, absolutely. Right? So a couple things that, that are clear. One is, when you show up to Bluemix, it's a, you know, a public platform. Uh, when you show up to any of our SaaS properties um, that we've talked about, any of our so cloud solutions, or when you show up at SoftLayer, if you're the type of enterprise that typically like, hangs around companies like IBM, your profile is probably you have 50 or more employees. You have decent size, you know, maybe small, medium, and certainly large. The first thing you're going to come to grips with is, I'm here, I'm in the cloud, but my stuff isn't in the cloud. My stuff is all over the place. Some of my stuff is back home in my enterprise, behind the firewall. Some of it is in Salesforce and all these other clouds. So how do I get my stuff? How do I integrate my stuff seamlessly across these clouds, right? So hybrid or cloud integration, hybrid integration is one of the first challenges. You talk about computer science, it is a significantly distributed world right now. And how do we bring that to have one virtual view that all your data is in your back pocket? Without having to move it around. Without having yeah. to move it around and thinking about security, right? You know, so you can just see someone going into Bluemix and illicitly punching a hole in their corporate firewall to get at the database under their desk that has important inf corporate information on it. That person may not be around next week if they don't do it correctly. So we have things like A lot of work, that's a lot of work. Right, to, to bring that story. So how do you integrate, you know, as you start distributing and move, renting properties, you still have your applications on premise, you're mixing up new applications, how do you bring that all together? It's cloud integration, we have a lot of focus on that at this conference here. I know you got to go, but I have one quick final question. I want you to get soundbite on the, you mentioned the API economy. Comment on the data economy. What does the data economy mean to you? It means this, <laughs> this Fitbit. <laughs> it means my car. It means you know, the internet of things as an example of the data economy. Think about all the devices out there. Think about the wonder that is. You know, we talk about mobile driving cloud we talk about mobile driving the data economy. But I think, you know, we think of mobile as just maybe the hand things we hold in our hands. But, you know, think about in a car, think about your hospital bed, right? The data economy, you know, the, the beautiful part about the cloud and data economy is for the first time with distributed data, running data in cloud, a like Cloudent, you know, Cloudent is an awesome acquisition that we just announced. We don't have to discriminate data. Because right? when you start filtering data, there's a chance you might miss that important piece, that, 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 that kind of, that important trend. So bringing the data together uh, around a coherent you know, uh, uh, data strategy. Look inside Bluemix, we have about six uh, data icons in there you know, for warehousing, for classic you know, SQL, for NoSQL, and of course, that cloud in icon is going to be coming up there. So data. Uh, the data economy is something that is, goes hand in glove and we're embracing it. We love it, certainly theCUBE will continue to talk about it. Dave and I were the first ones really talking about cloud mobile and social in 2010 before any other tech, tech uh, sites and we love it. We just see, love seeing it come into action. So many great benefits and just goodness for all developers, businesses. It's just great to have you on theCUBE. Thanks yeah. for spending the time. CTO, WebSphere, Blue Mix, API Economy. Uh, Thank it's, you. It's a fun time in tech. This is IBM Pulse exclusive coverage. We'll be right back.